Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. TV stations operate under strict FCC regulations to broadcast at a specific power on a specific RF channel. So why does it appear that some stations lower the power of their broadcast signal at times? Is it a way to get people back to cable, satellite, and streaming services? Before I get into the reasons, I want to make it clear that TV stations actually rarely reduce the power of their broadcast signal. If you have channels that go in and out, it's likely because your antenna is just barely picking up some channels to the point that they come and go with very minor changes in weather and atmospheric conditions. You'll likely need a better antenna setup. With that being said, here are a few reasons why a TV station might reduce the power of their broadcast signal at times, and it's not for the reason that you think. The first reason is to do routine maintenance on the tower or transmitter. In some cases, the power is reduced at the main site to keep RF levels safe for the crew working. In other cases, a station may switch to an auxiliary broadcast site that tends to be in a different location with a smaller broadcast signal. The second reason a TV station might reduce the power of their broadcast signal is because of an issue with the broadcast transmitter or antenna. According to an engineer at Weigel, which is the company that operates these popular networks many of you love, this could be a transmitter that lost part of its amplifier stage, something in the antenna's transmission line, or the antenna itself that is causing high reflected power back into the transmitter. In the case of reflected power, dropping to a lower power can often reduce the reflected power back to a safer condition. Stations might operate this way for a few days or weeks until the issue is resolved. Ice on the broadcast antenna can also cause issues. According to an engineer with the TV station WFMZ in Allentown, when ice coats a transmit antenna, it changes the electrical characteristics of the antenna and more of the RF energy is reflected back into the transmitter and RF system instead of being radiated out to the viewers. This reflected energy can heat up transmission components, so if it gets bad enough, the transmitter output power will be reduced to prevent the reflected power from doing damage. The third reason a TV station might reduce the power of their broadcast signal tends to also happen in winter months, power outages. Many TV stations rely on generators to power their broadcast facilities in a power outage. In some cases, the generator may not be large enough to run the main transmitter at full power. In each of these situations, some TV stations will keep antenna viewers informed through updates on their website or social media, but why do others not seem to say a word? For example, the broadcast signal of WNBC or NBC4 New York City was reduced at exactly midnight on Tuesday, January 28th, likely after switching to their auxiliary site to do routine maintenance. For nearly a week, the station operated a reduced signal and to my knowledge, provided zero updates to antenna viewers who may have lost the signal. While the station technically didn't do anything wrong, you would think they'd have some decency to keep their antenna and viewers informed about the situation with updates. This is the largest NBC station in the largest TV market in the United States, so a lot of viewers were likely impacted. Are they trying to drive people back to cable, satellite, and streaming services? Maybe, but a moderator on AVS forum has a more reasonable explanation. In response to a post I made about this situation, he replied, quote, informing viewers is a bad move as advertisers will see that and think they aren't getting what was sold to them. Ad agencies are constantly on the lookout for anything they can use to demand make goods. In plain English, if an ad agency finds out a TV station is operating their broadcast signal at a reduced power, they could ask for a partial refund which impacts the station's bottom line. Speaking of AVS Forum, it's a great resource to check if a local station in your area is operating at a reduced power. You can go to your market's thread and see if anyone else is reporting troll picking up a certain TV station, or make a post yourself. In addition, you can check the band scan on rabbitears.info if one is active in your market. Links to both websites can be found in the description of the video. To reiterate, four main reasons why TV stations reduce the power of their broadcast signal at times is for routine maintenance, issue with the transmitter or antenna, ice on the broadcast antenna, and power outages. Now I know what some of you are thinking. 
Oh, my local TV station comes in crystal clear, then disappears at random times, so they are definitely turning down the power often. No, they are not. What's happening is your antenna is barely picking up the TV station to the point it will go in and out with any minor changes in weather or atmospheric conditions. TV signals are always fluctuating. You can see this with how the numbers jump around a bit on any signal meter, spectrum analyzer, or band scan. A signal will be stronger on a clear, sunny day and weaker on a humid, windy, or rainy day. This is why it's important to make sure that you have an antenna that grabs more than enough of the signal to keep reception stable in changing weather conditions compared to the antenna just barely picking it up. If you experience this issue, you will likely need to upgrade to a larger antenna. You can find a list of recommended antennas in the description of the video or sign up to my antenna recommendation service on my website, antennamanpa.com. Now, even with a decent antenna, you might need the help of a signal meter to adjust the precise direction, height, and even location for the antenna where the signal levels are highest, as moving an antenna as little as a foot or two can have a huge impact on reception. See video linked in the description for more information. If you work at a TV station, I'm aware that a lot of engineers watch this channel, please coordinate with your station's newsroom or social media department to publish updates for antenna viewers anytime your broadcast signal is reduced. At the very least, create a profile on AVS Forum and make posts to keep viewers in your market informed whenever there's an issue with your broadcast signal or if you're operating at a reduced power. I promise advertisers of the station won't find out. Thanks so much for watching this video and an additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man, click the join button this video, and you can also click the thanks button. You can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA or sign up to my email list linked in the description below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.